to CBS Mornings. I'm Gail King. Coming up in this hour, a shark attack survivor tells his story. Why professional diver Paul DeGelder says he's less afraid and now he wants to save sharks. I'm Vladimir Dutit. America's gun violence epidemic hit close to home for the Smashing Pumpkins, Billy Corgan, and his partner, Chloe Mendel. We'll talk to them about their benefit show tonight in Highland Park. I'm Nate Burleson. We'll introduce you to an artist with a remarkable talent for creation, defying all kinds of expectations. This young man will inspire you. He is amazing. But first, let's go to today's eye opener at 8 o'clock. Have I renounced my beliefs? Have I agreed to stay silent? The persecution of Donald Trump would stop immediately. Breaking overnight, the Department of Justice is conducting a criminal investigation into potential attempts by Donald Trump to overturn the 2020 election. And the challenge for Garland is, is criminal intent provable at this point? The Fed is expected to raise interest rates again to help stop surging inflation. We have to watch it very carefully or we will be like out of business. Brittany Griner will testify in court in Russia today. She faces up to 10 years in prison on drug charges. Russia says it's withdrawing from the International Space Station after 2024, raising concerns now about future missions. It's an unfortunate development given the critical scientific work performed at the ISS. And if you like eating cheese and drinking martinis, well, Velveeta's got a product for you. Introducing the Veltini, made with cheese-infused vodka. We were able to get our hands a Veltini. Let's give it a whirl. You know what? time he's holding the cup. He's not, he's not, he's not. That's what that I doesn't thinking. even kind of sound so That good. smile is one of those like... <laughs> and then he oh my. I'm going to pass on that. That was all. funny. Do you want one of those, Selena? <laughs> uh, we would need you to have a Veltini. A, a Veltini. A a a a a a cheese and martinis. Mm. But we're going to begin the hour with this, not with that. <laughs> We're going to be talking about the new ways to treat COVID in the future. Yesterday, a group of experts gathered at the White House to talk exactly that about the state of this pandemic. Dr. Celine Gounder was there. She's a CBS News contributor and editor at large at KFF's Kaiser Health News and joins us to fill us on on what was discussed. But before we think about the old, the new ways, let's talk about the old ways for just a second. Because Celine, when we first got the vaccine, everybody thought it was a superpower. We don't have to worry because mm -hmm. that's normally what vaccines do. Then we're told you got to get a second vaccine. Then we're told you got to get a booster. Then we're told you got to get a second booster. And then you still get it. So how do you explain how we're supposed to process this? I think that's part of the vaccine fatigue. Yeah. And I think that's part of the frustration. Mm. I think on some level we overpromised what the mm. vaccines could do. I think people thought they would